If you were an animal, what species would you belong to and what would you look like? If I were an animal, I would belong to the species of a majestic peacock. I would have a stunning display of iridescent feathers in shades of emerald green, royal blue, and shimmering gold. With my graceful movements and confident demeanor, I would captivate all who encounter me. If you were a flower, what kind of flower would you be and how would you look? If I were a flower, I would be a vibrant and exotic orchid. My petals would be a rich shade of deep purple, with delicate patterns of white and pink. I would have long, slender stems and an elegant, curving shape that exudes grace and beauty. If you were a work of art, what would you be? If I were a work of art, I would be a surreal masterpiece. My canvas would be filled with vibrant colors and abstract shapes, creating a sense of intrigue and mystery. The viewer would be captivated by the layers of symbolism and hidden meanings, inviting them to interpret and explore the depths of their imagination. If you were a tarot card, which card would represent you and how would it be visually depicted? If I were a tarot card, I would be the magician. Visually, I would be depicted as a figure standing in a mystical forest, surrounded by various objects symbolizing the elements and the power to manifest. My card would portray a sense of empowerment, potential, and endless possibilities. If you were a landscape, what would it look like? If I were a landscape, I would be a serene and enchanting waterfall nestled in a lush, tropical rainforest. The water cascades gracefully down moss-covered rocks, creating a soothing melody. The air would be filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers, and vibrant butterflies would flutter around, adding a touch of whimsy to the scene. If you were a mythical creature, what would you be? If I were a mythical creature, I would be a majestic phoenix. With fiery feathers that shimmer in shades of gold, red, and orange, I would rise from the ashes, representing transformation, rebirth, and resilience. If you were a book cover, what would the design be? If I were a book cover, the design would be an intricate illustration of a moonlit forest. The cover would be adorned with mystical creatures, hidden paths, and a sense of enchantment that draws the reader into a world of magic and adventure. If you were a movie poster, what would it depict? If I were a movie poster, it would depict a thrilling sci-fi adventure set in a futuristic cityscape. The poster would showcase towering skyscrapers, neon lights, and a protagonist with a determined gaze, hinting at a captivating story of discovery and resilience. If you were a fashion trend, how would people dress? If I were a fashion trend, people would dress in elegant and ethereal attire. Flowing fabrics, soft pastel colors, and intricate lace details would be the signature of this trend, creating a sense of romance and grace. If you were a dessert, what would be the ingredients and presentation? If I were a dessert, I would be a decadent chocolate lava cake. The ingredients would include rich dark chocolate, a molten center of gooey goodness, and a dusting of powdered sugar. The presentation would be elegant, with a drizzle of raspberry coulis and a scoop of velvety vanilla ice cream on the side. If you were a city skyline, how would the architecture and landmarks appear? If I were a city skyline, the architecture and landmarks would exude a blend of modern innovation and timeless beauty. Skyscrapers with sleek lines and reflective glass facades would mingle harmoniously with historic buildings adorned with intricate carvings, creating a captivating juxtaposition. If you were a superhero, what would be your costume and special powers? If I were a superhero, my costume would be a sleek, black bodysuit with glowing patterns that represent the elements. My special powers would include the ability to manipulate time, granting me the power to freeze moments, speed up or slow down time, and even travel through different eras. If you were a weather phenomenon, what would the atmospheric conditions be like? If I were a weather phenomenon, the atmospheric conditions would be a mesmerizing display of dancing auras. The sky would be painted with vibrant hues of green, purple, and blue, creating a breathtaking spectacle that fills the hearts of all who witness it with wonder and awe. If you were a technological invention, what would be your purpose and features? If I were a technological invention, my purpose would be to foster communication and connection. I would possess advanced holographic technology, allowing people to have virtual meetings and experiences, bridging the gap between distance and bringing people together in a seamless and immersive way. If you were a jewel what would it look like? If I were a jewel, I would be a sparkling diamond. I would have a brilliant cut, reflecting light in a dazzling array of colors. 
my facets would be perfectly symmetrical, symbolizing clarity, strength, and resilience. If you were a feeling, what would you be? If I were a feeling, I would be the warm embrace of unconditional love. It would be a feeling of deep connection, compassion, and acceptance, enveloping those who experience it in a sense of comfort and belonging. If you were visually depicting a dream, how would it be? If I were visually depicting a dream, it would be a surreal landscape filled with floating islands, vibrant rainbows, and whimsical creatures. The dream's atmosphere would be filled with a sense of wonder and adventure, inviting the dreamer to explore their imagination without limits. If you were a quality, what trait would you possess? If I were a quality, I would possess the trait of resilience. I would be the ability to bounce back from adversity, to face challenges with unwavering determination, and to find strength in the face of adversity. If you were a default, what would it be? If I were a default, it would be the default setting of a blank canvas. This default setting represents infinite possibilities and the opportunity for creativity and imagination to shape and fill the void with unique and personal expressions.